Welcome, comrade Davies. Comrades, I bring to you now the man who is going to lead the charge because he's the only MP in Manchester with the cover Saint have none, Westmoreland none, Hanover none, Saint James none, Trinani. So he's leading the charge. The vice president to lead the PMP reclaiming all these parishes, comrade leader, with a clean sweep. Comrade Vice President Mikhail Asha Phillips, Northwest Manchester. <laughs> Southeast Saint Elizabeth, you ready for PMP? Yeah. You ready for Margolin? Yeah. You ready for Scotty? Yeah. Comrade Leader, Comrade Jensen, Comrade next member of parliament. Comrades, this election is one of the most serious elections we will face. Because I hear people running up and down and eat up them gum. So me and Andrew Wallace are the same. Me and Andrew Wallace cannot be the same. The Integrity Commission said that table report looking at illicit enrichment and then table one for me for not paying a late fee me and him cannot be the same but I want to publicly apologize to my own family because it brings them some embarrassment too. And I want to publicly apologize to the comrade leader and my colleagues in parliament and my colleagues and family, PMP family. I want to say, I am sorry. But I can guarantee that there's no PNP that you will see a report come for illicit enrichment. So comrades, from the bottom of my heart, it will never happen again. And I am sorry. Comrades, as I said, this is one of the most serious elections we will ever face as a country. Because last week, when I hear the Prime Minister who has run out of ideas talking about the PMP's 18 years is why he can't do what he want to do. What it has said to me is that Andrew Michael Holness is bankrupt of any idea to carry the country power. Yes. If you have to pay, blame PMP, who the 18 years was 17 years ago, and he has been in government for eight years, eight consecutive years. And after eight years, he still cannot build enough homes for poor people. 
After eight years, he has not built one new school to educate our children. After eight years, our road infrastructure has been worse than when he got it. After eight years, crime has been at its worst. And after eight years, corruption has been at its worst with Andrew Holness as Prime Minister. This is a serious election. Because in talk about spark and in talk about reach, reach now spark and spark now reach. Because neither of them will fix the problems that we are facing. When the factory down here was closed down, he said, give it one year. One year turn how much? Nearly five years. Five years. And we still have not heard anything more. And if it's one thing I know, our leader need no clocks for win no election. Our leader have a brain. Our leader is hearing. Our leader know what Jamaica needs. So if Andrew know what is good for him, don't fear smart golden. Because when the courts them done with him, when the people them done with him, Believe me, Jamaica will be free of the most uncaring leader that this country has ever seen. Comrades, the hypocrisy that we have in the parliament. Because when the Prime Minister stood up a week ago to give the parliament an update on the Spark program, and when I rose to answer him, the members on the GLP side start beat up them gum. But every single one of them over there complaining about bad roads. Every single one of them fierce demonstration in their constituency. And when I hear them say them satisfied with what they're coming with. A PMP government is, can never be satisfied if we were to ever do a program like what we are doing now. Because what we are going to do is ensure that we look at the communities where people live. We can replace proper road development and call it farm road. We pass them the things they know. It is not only highway we're going to build, but we want to make sure that every community road is done. And we have a proper road maintenance program for the National Works Agency Road. People time come. People time come. We have to ensure we don't only talk about a rural bus system. Because the way how this government treat taxi man and bus man, they're not supposed to see another term. Because I see, I see Minister Vaz, you know. I see him run about a half a tree. I see him run all over the country. He announced 100 new buses, but yet still JUTC still suffering. I see the Prime Minister come down to St. Elizabeth when the hurricane leak. And from the hurricane leak, can take two pictures. He has not been back to St. Elizabeth, and St. Elizabeth is no better off than when the hurricane did leak. That's why I said to your comrades. This is one of the most important elections that we will 
see as a country. So when the time come, comrades, comrades Scotty, it's not only a vice president of the PMP or mayor, you can say he's my friend. Comrade Scotty is a man who cares for people. I'm saying, Scotty, make you happy. So, comrades, when that time comes, I long to see Southeast Saint Elizabeth in the columns of the People's National Party. Comrade Leader, we have four candidates, three of them women. Scotty, you're lucky. And I know we will bring back St. Elizabeth to the PNP. When I say PNP, you say power. PNP! PNP! One love, one heart, comrades. Comrades, one more time for the Vice President, Comrade Nikki Ashapi. I want to big up the members say, we want to watch you while you're right there. Here, I want to big up POJ TV again, Comrade Kern. Oh, my MP. The Comrade Party leader pays it live. I want to pick up all the comrades who are watching online. Last Sunday video is also live on YouTube. Come and run that your feed. This pick up Southwest page that is also live. I want to pick up all the comrades. The thousands and thousands of comrades who are watching online. We see you and we hear you. Make sure to watch you and make sure BOJ TV continues. But comrades, we are down to, we, we are aim to do the meeting at 9 o'clock. And we are by God's grace, we are going to meet that target there. But we stand on the shoulders of giant, and I could not come down here and ensure that when I was a little toddler come and meet him, one of the man is to touch him on the shoulder and say, young boy, you're all right. I could not be here and we don't recognize the Star Wars.